Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you the basics of sheet metal part design in SOLIDWORKS. So let's come up to a new part and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to the tabs and I'm going to right click and you're going to see sheet metal here on the list. When you click on sheet metal it's going to add it to your tabs. So if I click on sheet metal, you can see that I now have a bunch of new features for creating sheet metal parts. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the sketch tab and I'm going to click on top plane and I'm going to start a sketch on the top plane. And so from here, I'm going to come over to the center rectangle, click on it and click on the origin and I'm going to create a smart dimension for this line for being a hundred and I'm going to click on this line and this line and I'm going to set them equal to each other and with that done I'm going to exit my sketch and I'm going to come over here to the sheet metal tab that we just added and so from here I'm going to click on base flange forward slash tab this is the first feature shown here in the sheet metal tab and I'm going to show you um, three different ways that it can be used. So let's start with the first one. Now you can see as soon as I clicked on it, it automatically picked up on my profile and here you can see that if you'd like you can use a sheet metal gauge but we're not going to do that for this example and for sheet metal parameters it's asking me what thickness I want. So I'm going to set this to be 1.5 millimeters and you can see under bend allowance there are a bunch of different options underneath the first drop down. There's like I mentioned a bend table which has all those parameters in it. There's also K factor which is recommended if you don't know the bend allowance and bend deduction. So I'm going to set this at 0.5, I'm going to keep it at 0.5 and under auto relief I can I can select uh, a relief that I want so I'm going to click on up round and the ratio is going to be 0.5 and from here I'm just going to hit OK. Now a few things have changed here if you look closely in the feature manager tree you can see that there's now a folder called sheet metal and inside it there is this uh, sheet metal one so I'm going to actually edit this feature to show you what's here you're gonna see that here under the bend parameters in thickness you're gonna see grayed out 1.5 millimeters that 1.5 millimeters is the default parameter for this new sheet metal part I made you're also going to see here that 6.35 is a bend radius that's the parameter currently for the sheet metal. You're also going to see other things like the bend allowance which we set and ob round 0.5 auto relief here which we set. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. Anytime that you create a sheet metal part the first parameter that you have for your thickness is going to come up here. It's going to come up here un under this folder and that value um, is not going to change unless you overwrite it or unless you change it inside uh, this parameter. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, I could actually show you if I edit this feature I can choose to override the default parameters of this part and I could set this to be let's say 8 millimeters and when I hit OK you're gonna see that my whole part has changed the thickness you're gonna see if I go back to my base flange 1 you're gonna see that override default parameters is selected now if I deselect this from my part you're gonna see it's gonna go back to 1.5 millimeters and if I go back to my uh, sheet metal 1 parameter you're gonna see that the value is changed here as well. So sheet metal one underneath the sheet metal folder is kind of like a way of controlling the thickness and the radius and and the K factor and the and the uh, value for your um, 
auto relief and all these sorts of things all from one place. So that being said, we looked at a very basic feature, the base flange one. And so from here, I wanna show you another way of creating a base flange. So in this example, all I had was a closed shape. So if I go back to my sketch, I can come and create a couple more lines and I can choose to trim this entity here. Let me reattach this. And as long as it's a closed shape, it should update accordingly to the shape that I've created. Now, let's say that instead of creating my sheet metal inside a closed shape, I wanna create it really from, from one open shape. So I'm going to click on my right plane and I'm going to start a sketch. And for this example, I'm going to come up here to line and I'm just going to create a line that goes like this, that comes down, that comes across. And I'm just going to hit OK. And you're going to see that this um, new part is really just three lines that are open. So, you know, it's not a closed shape. These, these two points are not connected by a line or an arc or anything. So if I come over to my sheet metal here tab, I can click on base flange tab and you can see that I'm actually creating an, a base flange within an open profile, which is different than on the closed profile. So I, I have options here. So direction one, I, I can change the direction the same way you can in an extrusion. I can make this a mid plane or a blind extrusion. Um, there are some other options as well. I can also change the value here for how long I want it to be. And I could also have a direction two if I'd like. And you're, you'll actually see the same thing that we saw in the first part is that I can override default parameters if I so choose to. Um, I can change the thickness of this. I can change the radius, the bend radius as well. Um, over here, you're gonna see, just like on the other part, bend allowance and auto relief options as well. So I'm gonna hit okay. And that marks the second way to create a base flange feature. So there, there's one more thing that we can do with the base flange, and that's creating a tab. So creating a tab, I can click on this face, and I can come over here to sketch and start a sketch on that face. And if I drag out a rectangle, I can have that rectangle rest on that face, as you can see. And if I go and close the sketch and go back to my sheet metal tab, I can come up here to base flange forward slash tab, same feature we've been using. And you can see that it already has my sheet metal parameter default here, 1.5 millimeters. And I could just keep this selected, merge result. And if I hit okay, you're going to see that that feature has actually connected itself to the first one. Except here, under the Feature Manager tree, you're going to see that it's called a tab. So it's not called a base flange, it's actually called a tab. And so there are two different features that you get out of the base flange forward slash tab right here. You get your base flange and you get your tab, but as I mentioned before, there are two different ways to create a base flange. You can create a base flange from an open profile, from a closed profile and you can also create a base flange from an open profile. So two different ways of doing the same thing. And the tab is a way of adding material to an already created base flange.